Hello everyone, this is Adit back again with another video. So in this video, we are going to learn about debouncing and we are also going to implement the debouncing in React.js. We will look at how to implement this in a real scenario where we are going to have a search field and we are also going to consume the Pokemon API. Uh, um, and uh, I will show you that API as well. And uh, from that API, we will get the data and display to our screen. Okay. And we will also create a custom mock for the debouncing. So let's get started now. So the first question is like, uh, what is debouncing? So debouncing is just a practice which, which ensures that a function does not get called too frequently, right? Uh, like uh, if there are some tasks which is uh, time consuming and if, they, if that task gets triggered too frequently, then it will affect our browser, right? So there debouncing com comes in handy, handy and uh, so first of all, uh, what we're going to do is like, uh, I have just initialized a project. Uh, this is just an empty project. Uh, there's nothing, uh, I just used uh, npx create react app and uh, this is the uh, this is our, um, all the boilerplate code. What we're going to do is like, we are first going to implement uh, a input field over here. So let's just have an input. And that input is going to have a placeholder, uh, which should be like, search Pokemon okay and we are also going to have a state like then uh, that is going to search term set search term and use state we're going to use use state and this is going to just an empty string okay so next what we're going to do is um, Let's first of all create a hook for to implement the debouncing, right? So let's just uh, have a use debounce.js. Um, and there could be many ways, uh, many ways to create the um, default debouncing function. But uh, in this scenario, I'm just trying to create a custom hook and there I'm going to implement the use debouncing. And for like, uh, I will put a link in the description video for there are the several ways to create and I will just put a um, stack overflow link from there you can just look into all the other um, other ways uh, whichever you find it easy to implement and uh, whichever you like you can just uh, learn from there or look into that right so in this file in use devons.js first of all we are going to import react and uh, from sorry, it should be react and we are going to use the use state import use state and uh, use effect as well let's put a comma over here and uh, then let's just create a function Here we are going to have a value that value on that we are getting from the search param uh, from the input that value we are going to pass over here and here we are going to pass the delay as well um, like how many seconds or any other time format and now we are just going to have debounce value set value this is also going to use state and in use state we are just going to pass the value so whatever value comes in we are just going to put it over here and then we are going to have a use effect what this is going to do is like we are going to create a handler over here and inside that handler we are just going to have set time out and inside the timeout we are just going to pass the delay that we are getting from here and inside that we're just going to have a set debounce value and we're just going to pass the value okay and the next thing is inside the use effect we are just, uh, when we are going to return and clear the timeout as well okay and over here, a use effect need to be triggered only when we are getting a value 
and delay. Then we're just going to uh, return the devons value. And we are also going to export this. We just uh, save it. And inside the app.js, what we're going to do is uh, like, uh, let's have uh, on change. Inside the on change, we're just going to have uh, set search term we are also going to pass the value or we are just going to have a controlled component that's why search term and now we are also going to have a use effect over here first of all we are just going to check this if this works without implementing the API and after that, uh, we will implement uh, our function to get the value over here as well. Okay. So, so now over here, uh, let's just uh, create a function const search term and we are just going to have use depots over here and we are just going to pass the search term and the delay let's put it 300 okay and now if there is going to be a debounce term else we are just uh, going to console log log something else and over here we are just going to have a mm, search term. Let's have a devon search term over here printed out. And we are just also going to pass the devon search term inside it. Okay. Now let's just save it. And uh, once we do that, if we so use state use devons is not defined inside the um, app.js app .js. so let's just import react from react and uh, then use state and use effect and uh, use devons as well import use devons from uh, I think somehow my intelligence uh, intelligence is not working in my VS code. I don't know why, but anyway, let's just do it manually. Okay, so now we have an input field, and currently it is displaying something else since we are not in, uh, giving any value over here. So this will just uh, keep as it is. Once we start typing in some, um, something over here, then after some time that uh, after 300 millisecond, uh, that uh, function will be triggered and triggered and uh, something uh, that value that uh, debon search term will be displayed over here, right? So let's just do that. And once we left and here we get the value search term. Okay. So now what we're going to do, we are, we just need to uh, not, we just need to pass a value over here okay uh, just like uh, we're just going to pass a function which is the function that, uh, that function is eventually going to uh, call the pokemon api so we'll just have a fetch pokemon okay and this is going to have a, a pokemon name okay and uh, then Set this API. So we have this API for the Pokemon, and uh, this is the API actually. And uh, inside that, we just need to pass Pokemon. So these are the Pokemon uh, list, and once we we pass the value, like uh, it gives all the detail of that Pokemon, right? So what we're going to do is uh, we're just going to implement um, 
call this API. Let's just copy this. And uh, over here, we're just going to have fetch. And uh, we are for, for now, let's just keep it like this. And uh, to have then res res dot json, and uh, then we are going to have of our value like if you guys already know about the fetch uh, we need to pass the value inside the fetch uh, first in the format of uh, in the json format and after that we will have to consume it so now if we just console log console log this value we'll have to get something and as of now we are not triggering this uh, anywhere but uh, let's just put it over here this function this function will get triggered from here and uh, as of now we are not passing this value to the api we will do that uh, let's just uh, let's just check if we are getting this value over there or not okay so as the api got triggered and we are getting this value so now what i'm going to do is like let's uh, create another state and uh, let's just have set data use state and this is going to be empty id and inside the set data we are going to pass response that we are getting from here okay and uh, yeah so that response we will display over here so let's just have if uh, data is there um then or else we are going to just uh, log out mm, over here let's just um, div inside the, the this div we are just going to have json dot stringify And we are just going to pass this value that data we are getting over here. So let's just save it. Okay. So now we just refresh this page and uh, let's search for something. So we are get, uh, getting this value, right? we haven't searched for that api right now but uh, we are at least getting this value and uh, instead of displaying all this data in a stringify we are just going to have this name so let's just display the name over here and uh, it's going to be data dot name save it let's just put it as h1 okay and over here we have already created this template literals so we are just going to pass this pokemon name value over here so just have pokemon name and let's just save it and if we just refresh this page so if it, nothing is there and uh, api is not getting called as well since uh, this is going over here, once we start typing, then uh, this Devon's search term is going to have some value, then it is will trigger this page Pokemon API. Okay, so what a um, user we were uh, looking for is this one. So let's just put it over here and we got the value from the API and these are the value. So this is how we can, uh, we can um, use this uh, create our own use debouncing hook inside the react js and we can use this uh, for calling the api and th this way we can also reduce the api call suppose um, if we not you have used the debouncing then if we just used it uh, used to call the api on every uh, text that user inputs so that would have been a lot of api calls and uh, that's not good for, for the browser as well right 
so that's why we use the debouncing and uh, this is it for this video uh, i hope you like the video if you like the video consider subscribing and uh, thank you for watching